Good morning, you guys, or afternoon, whenever you are watching this, and welcome back to my channel, where this is another sourdough recipe. So this recipe is the chocolate chip sourdough muffins that I post all the time. They're so good. I like breaking them apart and putting them on top of my Greek yogurt. I like to just eat them as a quick snack. I like to gift them to people. Um, they're amazing. So they either make 12 this size of muffin or six of the larger muffins. I do find when you do them as the larger muffins, they too tend to get a little drier um, just because they do. But we're going to start with setting the oven to 350. So bake 350 and go from there. I'm going to line my muffin tin, which you don't have to use liners. You can also use parchment paper and the back of a glass jar or whatever round shape fits into your muffin tin and press them into the tins. I just so happen to have muffin liners for the first time in ever. So we're going to use them. This is also a one bowl recipe. So it makes it so convenient and so quick. They come together in like 18 minutes in the oven. And yeah, like I said, super simple. They are refined sugar free. If you so choose to go that route, I use like the organic cane sugar as the sugar source in mine as well as I use a couple different things that are less traditional, I would say. Um, yeah, so let's get started. And also, I'm going to start creating the recipe cards in Canva. So at the bottom of the screen, you can tap it and it'll give you the recipe card, which you can either have up on your iPad or your iPhone or your print it out and then you can have the recipe card at the same time as watching the video or watch the video and then use the recipe card, you know, vice versa. Um, I'm just gonna pour out, I've made some rooibos and I got my strainer here and I'm gonna put it over top of my hot milk. Mm, yum. Okay. Also, the shirt is mink pink, was my sister's. She gave it to me. The jeans are Levi's. They were Sydney's and she gifted them to me as well. So I'm pretty thrilled. Anyway, let's get started. We need two eggs. I'm going to read off the thing because I can't remember anything for the life of me off the top of my head. The two eggs, quarter cup of melted butter or oil. For these ones, I'm using olive oil, but a lot of the times I do use MCT oil or G or grass-fed butter. Those are like my four favorite options. Avocado oil is good too. Um, yeah. Teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of milk, and two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. So the milk I have right now is just like standard oat milk from Costco, but typically I make my own by blending oats in water and then straining it through a cheese strainer. It literally, like cheesecloth, it takes no time at all but I have like six containers of oat milk still here. So I'm going to use it. Um, why not? Right. The Greek yogurt that I use is actually bison yogurt. Um, it's from Academy Farms, which is, um, about 20 minutes from our house. And it's a non-for-profit where they do bison and buffalo and they help. Um, it's also like a rehab. So the people that work there are going through um, a challenging time in their life and they're helping them out. And I think it's so awesome and so beautiful. I also love the tang that the bison yogurt has and the bison milk and the bison cheeses. I really love them. So I work with them a lot, but yeah, the bison yogurt is what I'm using for this guy. You're also going to need two eggs for this recipe. Milk, like I said, using oat milk for this guy here. And muffins are one of those things where you don't want to over mix. You can over mix like your base as much as you want to, but don't overmix literally anything 
else. Um, quarter cup of oil, which is the same as doing three tablespoons. So, turn it on. Thanks, G. Okay. The vanilla. Um, I just like liberally pour because I love vanilla. Okay, now I'm out. <laughs> Um, and then the sourdough starter, which is like the star of the show. Mine's nice and bubbly and like ready to go. So I'm just going to put it on my scale here and then I'm going to take out the amount, set it to grams, which is 180 grams of starter that I need. It's going to take longer than I thought. I'm going to go this way. Get you, I'm close. Oh, it actually takes so much starter, these muffins. And like, super close. There we go. So 180 grams of starter. Also, now that my starter is at this point, I'm going to add probably 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour and then mix that baby up and leave it on the counter again. Rotating my starter and doing things like that just so it's nice and full. I might even do more than that, but. Yeah, so 100 grams of water, so I'll probably do like 120 grams of flour. I showed you guys this in the first video. I'm like not so gentle with my starter like other people are, I kind of just, wing it and that works for me a little bit more i'd like to do a little bit more flour than water not by much but at least by like 10 grams okay that's perfect just literally going to take a knife and mix that guy so get it good Good consistency. Kind of like a pancake batter consistency. And now we're gonna leave it on the counter to just keep doing, doing what it does best. And here we are mixing all this goodness up. So sourdough itself is actually a like can work as a prebiotic. For your gut because it includes so many healthy protein strands and i find when i make my treats with sourdough and like refined sugar and like really really clean ingredients it's like completely guilt-free you feel so good when you're having them you don't feel full after like i had a cinnamon bun this morning that i just made and a muffin as well and i feel awesome now onto the dry quarter teaspoon of salt also normally if i'm not doing a video i just like wing it i kind of throw throw things together and i just go with that one teaspoon of baking powder sure that's a half this is a half teaspoon measure by the way so that's what i did too one teaspoon of that guy. Half a cup of granulated sugar of your choice. I would use coconut sugar or this is like the organic cane sugar. I really quite like this. We're doing half a cup of that. You could also probably use honey, but then you're going to want to decrease the liquid somewhere else just so you have the proper um consistency and then it's one and a quarter cups of flour i always just use the quarter cup measure the, the whole time so it'll be five scoops from the quarter cup measure two three four but i feel like i'm going through like a bag of flour a week so now I'm just going to take a nice like wooden spoon or soft spatula like this. 
and get it all mixed like together, but not over mix. It's fine if there's clumps, you just want a good, again, kind of like pancake batter consistency. like scraping down the sides with a spatula like so. Okay, see it's still clumpy, but it's good. Then you're gonna add your chocolate chips. It's about half a cup, but these are like the chunks of chocolate chips. So I feel like a half a cup measurement might not be enough. I only have a few left in the bag, so I'm just gonna go with it. And then just and fold those guys in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. See, there's still kind of lumps in there. It's not like totally perfect. It is muffins, which is the best. And I always just use like a ice cream scoop like this, and it's about like one scoop per little guy. This might be that might be over. The first one was a little hefty, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like I've said in videos before, oh my god, sourdough is. A finicky little rascal but also the most beautiful type of dough I feel like you can work with I couldn't make any sort of baking before I started sourdough it was always flat it was always shitty I was always so disappointed um, but yeah and as you probably heard there on the side my oven is now ready to go so I'm just going to pop these into the oven and then set my timer for 18 minutes and they're literally good to go. So I'll show you guys what they look like there. It took about 15 minutes to get these together, 18 to cook. I'd say it's like a 30 ish minute recipe, but yeah. Okay, so the timer just went off. We're going to pull these babies out of the oven. May may you in the way. You move. Watch out. Watch out. I lied. Because I use the bigger because I use the bigger chocolate chips, um, they're gonna need like three more minutes in there. And then we'll reconvene. Okay, so take two. <laughs> I had to put them keep them in the oven for like a couple more minutes just because like I said, the larger chocolate chips um oh, so pretty. Yay, the larger chocolate chips really changed the <laughs> the cook time. So I always use mini, but I only had large left in the house, so that's what we went with. But grab this little one here. Let it cool for a second. Uh -uh. And then I'll show you guys how it looks on the inside. I let them cool in the muffin tray because otherwise you don't want them to collapse. So we're just letting them cool in the muffin tray for like five minutes and I'll show you what they look like on the inside. Okay, so we're going to pull one of these babies out of the muffin tin here. Mm -mm -mm. Just grab the tiniest one that I have. Oh my gosh. They're still warm. They're so nice and airy, chocolatey. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love topping them with a little sea salt too. I feel like that is just hits the spot. But recipe card is tagged below in the little section there. Um, and yeah, you can follow me on all my channels for little instant video reviews as well as so many other awesome things.